Hello, and welcome to my channel, where I mostly share my love of fragrance and enjoying my collection. In this video, I'll be reviewing the new Bath & Body Works Salt Shack Summer Collection. Thank you so much for stopping by, and let's get started. I'm excited to start reviewing the summer collections that Bath & Body Works has just released for the semi-annual sale, which officially starts on Saturday, June 3rd. There's also an online-only preview that's going on now for rewards members if you don't want to wait. I didn't see anything too exciting in the preview, but I'm definitely hoping to find some good deals this weekend. First up for review is the Salt Shack collection, and I picked up all three of the scents. I think that the packaging is cute and on theme with the summer boardwalk type of foods, but I don't think it's anything spectacular. The collection includes Fruity Sherbet Scoop, described as a sugary sweet scoop of summer. Whipped Coconut Milkshake, described as a tropical twist on everyone's favorite diner dessert. And Cotton Candy Clouds, described as watching the sun set over a dreamy horizon. And now let's get on to the reviews. First up is Fruity Sherbet Scoop, which comes in the pink packaging and I believe is a new scent. And this has notes of rainbow sherbet, zesty orange, and sun-kissed strawberry. And this opens with a very sweet, candy-like fruity scent. I get a bit of the strawberry, but it also smells kind of like mixed fruit, with maybe some raspberry or other berries. It gives me a bit of a Fruity Pebbles vibe, but it's more candy-like than like cereal. I get a hint of the citrus, but it's not very strong, and I don't pick out the orange specifically. To me, this is very much just a sugary, berry, candy scent. And I think that it's okay, and I do like it. But with the name, I guess I expected more of an icy sherbet quality, but this really just smells like candy to me. For comparison, first I have Bath & Body Works Tutti Fruity Candy, and in the middle is the 2023 version, and on the right is the 2022 version and both have notes of sweet jelly beans, mixed berries, and sugared lemon. And this is a very sweet, fruity candy scent, but the candy does smell more like jelly beans that have mixed berry flavors. I get a bit of the lemony quality, but it's sort of fleeting. It has a little tartness, but it also feels very sugary. These two versions don't smell exactly the same, and I think that last year's version is a bit closer to Fruity Sherbet Scoop. I think that these scents are very similar, they both smell like sugary, fruity candy with a bit of citrus, but Fruity Sherbet Scoop has a bit stronger of a strawberry scent, while the fruit in Tutti Fruity Candy feels more like darker berries. And the lemon is also more prominent in that scent than the orange is in Fruity Sherbet Scoop. Next, I have Bath & Body Works Orange Vanilla Twist, which has notes of juicy orange, summer sherbet, and vanilla creme. And this is a really sweet, creamy orange scent that basically smells like a creamsicle ice cream pop. I thought that this might have some resemblance to Fruity Sherbet Scoop due to the orange and ice cream quality, but since that one doesn't really smell too much like sherbet, they're not really that similar. Orange Vanilla Twist is more of a sweet, creamy vanilla with orange and has more of that ice cream quality. And then I have Bath & Body Works Enchanted Candy Potion, which has notes of spellbinding sugar, bewitched berries, and whipped pixie dust. And this is a really strong berry scent mixed with a sugary candy. And the candy has a bit of tartness and basically smells like candied mixed berries with a bit of a powdery feeling. These scents are both sugary candy scents, but Enchanted Candy Potion is deeper and has some warmth to it, while Fruity Sherbet Scoop is lighter and smells more like generic fruity candy. I love Enchanted Candy Potion and still prefer that over Fruity Sherbet Scoop. Next up is Whipped Coconut Milkshake, which comes in the orange packaging and I believe is a new scent. And this has notes of vanilla ice cream, toasted coconut, and sugared amber. And this opens with a slightly sweet, fresh coconut. It has an airiness to it, as well as a bit of creaminess. And as it dries, I feel like I get a little bit of that toasted quality. The amber brings in a soft warmth, and it does also have a sugary feel to it. With the name, I think I expected this to be sweeter and heavier, but the creaminess actually feels kind of light to me. As it dries, the coconut softens, and it has more of a soft, warm sweetness that's overall very pleasant. I do like this scent, but I wouldn't say that I love it. And for comparison, first I have Bath & Body Works Coconut Cream Pie, which has notes of toasted coconut flakes, caramel custard, and golden pie crust. 
And this is a very sweet, gooey caramel scent with sweet toasted coconut. This one is sweeter, heavier, and feels more gourmand than whipped coconut milkshake, which is less sugary and more creamy. Coconut cream pie feels so much stronger overall, and I do prefer it, but I also think that whipped coconut milkshake will be a nice option for warmer weather. And then I have Coconut Ice from Victoria's Secret Pink, and this has notes of frosted coconut and sweet cream. I couldn't find too many gourmand coconut scents in my collection, but I thought that this one might be somewhat similar. This has a really strong, creamy coconut, and the sweet cream gives it an added rich and creamy quality. It smells basically like coconut cream with just a hint of spice to it, almost like raw vanilla bean. I think that this is actually closer to whipped coconut milkshake than coconut cream pie. These both have a creamy coconut with a bit of an airy quality, and they aren't overly sugary. Coconut ice is a tad bit sweeter at first, but when they dry down, they smell very similar to me. And the last scent is Cotton Candy Clouds, which comes in the blue packaging and is a re-promoted scent. And this has notes of spun sugar, pink berries, and whipped vanilla. And this seems to be one of Bath & Body Works' most popular scents over the last few years, and I can definitely see why. It's a very sweet vanilla scent with candied berries. It has a very sugary quality, so it does resemble cotton candy. But the heavy vanilla makes it feel more like cotton candy that's melting and becoming a bit caramelized. It's just such a delicious, sweet, sugary scent, and it's definitely a staple in my collection. And for comparison, first I have the older versions of Cotton Candy Clouds. In the middle is last year's Summer SAS version, and on the right is I believe the 2021 version. And they both have the same notes of spun sugar, pink berries, and whipped vanilla. Personally, I prefer last year's packaging with the fluffy clouds the most, but I think that all versions smell basically the same. If anything, the current one feels a bit heavier on the vanilla, while the version from last year seemed a bit more sugary. I don't think that these are noticeable differences though. Next I have Boardwalk Taffy, and I believe that this shares the same notes as Cotton Candy Clouds, but they're actually not listed on the bottle. This scent came out first, and it seems that they just renamed it Cotton Candy Clouds, and to me, these scents do smell the same. This version does seem closer to the older versions of Cotton Candy Clouds though. And then I have Whipped Berry Meringue from last year's brunch collection. And this has notes of fresh berries, whipped sugar, and fluffy vanilla. And this is almost the same scent as Cotton Candy Clouds and Boardwalk Taffy. Only it has a bit more berries in it, and the vanilla feels lighter. It's still overall a very sweet berry cotton candy scent. And if I had to pick one over the other, Whipped Berry Meringue is definitely my favorite of the bunch. Overall, I do really like this collection, and I think that it's fun for summer. I love sweet scents, and all of these fall into that category. But if I had to rank these, my least favorite would be Fruity Sherbet Scoop. I like it, and think it's a nice fruity candy scent, but it's not really anything that feels special to me. In the middle would be Whipped Coconut Milkshake. I like the airy, creamy mix of vanilla and coconut, and the warm sweetness that I'm left with. And that leaves Cotton Candy Clouds as my favorite. While the new scents are nice, they just didn't top this classic sweet vanilla and berry cotton candy scent to me. So that's it for my review of the new Salt Shack collection from Bath & Body Works. Let me know what you think of these scents and if you're going to pick any of them up. I will be reviewing the other two semi-annual sale collections soon, as well as sharing my SAS haul. Thank you for watching, I hope that you'll subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.